Welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating history of airline mile schemes and how they've evolved into powerful loyalty programs and cash generators for the airlines. So fasten your seatbelts and let's take off. Our journey begins in the late 1970s. Back then, airlines were looking for innovative ways to attract and retain customers. Enter Texas International Airlines, which in 1979 launched the first mileage-based frequent flyer program. This program rewarded passengers based on the miles they flew, setting the stage for a revolution in customer loyalty. In 1981, American Airlines and United Airlines took the concept further by launching their own frequent flyer programs, AA Advantage and Mileage Plus, respectively. These programs allowed passengers to earn miles not just from flying, but also from using partner services like hotels and car rentals. Fast forward to today and frequent flyer programs have become incredibly sophisticated. Airlines have partnered with credit card companies, allowing customers to earn miles through everyday purchases. This has transformed these programs into major revenue streams as airlines sell miles to credit card issuers and other partners. In fact, during economic downturns, airlines have relied on these programs to generate cash. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, several airlines sold large quantities of miles to their credit card partners just to stay afloat. For travellers, these programmes offer a range of benefits from free flights and upgrades to exclusive access to airport lounges. But it's not just about perks. Airlines use the data from these programmes to understand customer preferences and tailor their services accordingly to customer needs. Looking ahead, the future of loyalty programmes is exciting. With advancements in technology, we might see the integration of blockchain for secure transactions and gamification to make earning and redeeming miles more engaging. So, the next time you earn miles on a flight or a purchase, remember the rich history behind those programmes and how they evolved into a win-win for both airlines and travellers. I will be doing a new video shortly on the win-lose scenario. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating insights.